Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. You know, I, I want, I want, I mean, this is for law enforcement out there. Mm -hmm. I'm former LE, you know, I'm former law enforcement. I mean, a lot of guys on my cadre are, are like JJ and Clay. You know, these are guys that are also retired LE or current LE. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we're like strangers to how this stuff works. It's just that the people wearing the badge today, and I've got a lot of friends. Okay. I've probably got some friends watching this right now. Absolutely. Uh, lots, by the way, lots of people shouting out Tyler. Yeah, he, yeah, he's a good dude, him. man. Yeah. Like he's like David Cagle, Bob Rocks. David says David yeah. Cagle says yeah. 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 Uh, he's awesome, man. That's a square. <laughs> he's a uh, he's a le guy, man. David is and uh, mm -hmm. like squared away young guy, man. I wish at 22 I was like a tenth as squared away as he is right mm -hmm. now, you know. And mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he, he's a good dude. And but what I'm saying is like we got all these le guys out there that that do the right thing. But mm -hmm. then you got your other people that value earning a paycheck and a pension. They, they value that and they'll be willing to violate people's rights. Well, mm -hmm. that that's that's not going to work, man. Yeah. Like if, if they thought it was cool, like, you know, in times where like it was generally peaceful, if they thought it was cool and like only, you know, criminals hated them, like you're going to have a major problem with dudes like me, like dirt on you, man. Yeah. Like you're gonna have a how, how are they even going to do that? So let's say we assume that everything here is real, which I, I do believe that there's realness to this, right? I think there's some... There's some puffing up of what's going on here, but let's say everything's real. We've got law enforcement going down also to COVID-19, right? So how exactly, how exactly are they supposed to enforce any of this? You know, like they, like the the governor of Florida did not want to declare or that it was mandatory for people to stay home. You know, Florida is just dealing with this. Of course, the numbers going up, it's going to go up. You know, around the country, and then they forced him into it. So now, I guess at midnight tonight. It's mandatory that people need to stay home. How the hell are they going to enforce that? Okay, so if it's if it's mandatory for people to stay home, um, and and so your job is to protect people's life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, but you're violating all three of those. Um, what percentage of the time are we not sending you taxes? Yeah. Uh, we right. Should, yeah. So so if you're forsaking right, if you're forsaking the obligation or the arrangement that we have, see, they only govern by consent. So. So if, if they're forsaking this, right, if they're forsaking this whole thing where, oh, it's a one-way affair where we're up here at the top and we're going we're gonna to trickle down all this authority, it, when, when you reach that point, you know, then, then you, we don't have an arrangement anymore. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. we're not governing by consent. We're governing by coercion. Mm -hmm. We're governing by force. And I think our forefathers provided the template for that. Listen, you know, if, if, if people don't understand the importance of what the Second Amendment is all about, it says it is necessary to the security of a free state, mm -hmm. not a martial law state, mm -hmm. not an emergency state. It is necessary to the security of a free state. And if we don't have a free state, we don't have a country. Right. We, we're we're, we're post-Weimar Germany. Mm -hmm. We're Bolshevik Russia. Yeah. We're back to being ruled by uh, whoever's the king of England currently, or queen, or whatever the hell is going worse. on over there. Yeah. Or worse. Yeah. Um, here's my here's my question. I want to ask you about the taxes, man. Do you really think they need the taxes? Because they shut the they've shut everything down now for the last couple of weeks, and they're shutting it down for another month. That could go on. Do do they really need the taxes, or are they just making up this money? Are they just pulling this money out of their ass or something? Well, they always pull money out of their ass, bro. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what they do. I mean, they're, they're, you're talking about an immoral, gutless piece of crap organization. Um, I mean, you're, you're talking – I mean, how in the hell could a woman like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez get elected to be a member of Congress? I mean, that woman would have failed my civics class. Yeah. You know? And here she is as some idiot millennial. And not all millennials are idiots. I've got very smart millennial uh, people that I know. Absolutely. But here, here she is, you know um, – this person uh, plenty that, that, of millennials have died for their country recently you, gone dude, out there and uh, left it. body parts on the on the field of battle for their country that's it man that's it and in every generation you've you've got your givers and you got your takers right i mean and she would be a classic taker mm -hmm. um and you and you've got you got you got the entitled people and then you got the hard-working people and so um you ask about taxes dude taxes are the only reason why i pay them is because I expect government to uphold 
why I consent to have them govern me, which is protection of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. When they stop doing that, I'm not going to kick upstairs anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't think anybody should. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think we really need to take this opportunity to change a lot of things, like you said. I, you know, I'm very optimistic about that, but it doesn't mean that I think it's actually going to happen. We need to decentralize <laughs> a lot of these things away from the government of them having any kind of control over it, you know, in, in order to really move forward uh, with what America needs to be in the coming years, in my in my opinion. Um, Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.